Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. A lot of people have been asking me, Peek, I don't have a phone, I don't have a Switch. I mean, pretty sure everyone has a phone, but some people don't have a phone that can run the game properly. And they want to play on emulator because they have a strong PC or feel like that's going to be a viable way to play. I do want to preface this video by saying I do not think emulator is super viable for competitive or high level play. But if you just wanted to try the game or if you want to just mess around with the PC controls, if this is more comfortable to you moving with WASD and aiming your abilities with a mouse, then um, maybe this is a video that might interest you. Before we move on, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Baiyi. Baiyi is a Japanese proxy service that allows users to access over 160 online shopping sites that are exclusive to those who live in Japan. With all of the big Japanese online shopping sites such as Mercari, Rakuten, and Yahoo Japan Auction, you can place bids on and purchase items being sold from Japanese sellers without the insane shipping costs and having to deal with the hassle of communicating with international sellers. Baiyi handles it all for you, and you can even purchase items from multiple sites in one order to make it even easier for you to get that Japanese game or merchandise that you've been wanting. Baiyi's website has intelligent search that allows you to find just about anything you could want from your favorite game franchise or anime, and you can find some really great deals on items that you can only get from Japan. The best part is that Baiyi is offering members of the Peak MP fam a coupon worth 2,000 yen, which is about 18 US dollars, towards any purchase on Baiyi if you sign up using the link in the description. Thanks again to Baiyi for sponsoring this video. So the game is mostly playable with controls. Now I have uh, custom mapped all these sort of controls in a configuration file that I will be making available in the description below. So if you want to download that file for yourself, you will be able to import it directly into your BlueStacks client. Of course, this is on BlueStacks. All you have to do to download BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator, is go here. Again, I will link this as well in the description. Uh, just download the Nougat 64-bit client for Windows and you will get here once you download Pokemon Unite and go through the tutorial and all that stuff. So basically what you want to do in order to import my configuration file that is again down below in the description, it's just a Google Drive file. If it uh, is not available for download, just make a copy for it and add it to your own drive. Uh, if enough people, if like too many people download it, it basically it will cap out in the download limits, but you should be able to make a copy and add it to your own Google Drive and which at which point you'll be able to uh, download it after that. So um, for those of you who want to do that, go over here to the game controls little icon here and you just uh, check, check this box, turn it on, on screen controls, obviously because you want to know what each button does. If you like eventually were playing long enough and knew what each button does, you can of course cover these up so they're not visible and ugly all over your screen. But for now, of course, I'm going to leave them on here because uh, I certainly don't play like this and I need to see them. So you open advanced editor and you all you have to do is you just import a file. You will import this configuration file that I provided for you guys and you will just click that and import and under Unite Controls 1, of course, it's the same. Um, <laughs> it's the same file I was already using because this is what I uploaded, but you'll be able to get all these buttons up here. So I'll kind of just quickly explain what it does and talk about the limitations of playing on emulator. Um, so first things first, you'll see if you want to ping the map, you can just hit M and click anywhere on the map. Like, Hey, go to, uh, this core fish or go down to the dreadnought here and stuff like that. You can do that. Of course you move with W A S D. It's just, you know, your standard, <laughs> your standard movement controls. Um, I do have space bound here. So what this is, is actually a camera movement option. So if you hold down your space bar and move your mouse around, you can pan the camera a little bit, uh, just as you would with your thumb on a touch screen on a phone. Um, you can already see like the screen is a little bit laggy and it's just like, even though it says it's high FPS, it, the, the game is just not meant to perform on an emulator. It just doesn't perform super well. But anyway, we'll get to that later. Um, I have shift bound for your battle item. Of course, this is a new account, so I don't have a battle item unlocked, but your eject button, your potion, everything. If you hit shift, you'll just be able to do that. Um, press B just to go back to base. Press Z to score. Of course, let's, uh, let's kind of showcase this stuff. Um, basically, I've made this so that you can kind of aim around as long as you're holding one. You can aim around with your mouse and basically just point at whatever you want to do. The same goes for ground targeted skills like Thunderbolt, like this. You just want to move your mouse around and it will go to wherever your mouse is. And again, press Z to score. 
um, and just three is your unite move. You can't use your Pikachu unite move on uh, <laughs> on NPC, so you won't be able to do that. But that's about it. And then of course the E button right here is gonna be um, what allows you to auto attack minions, and of course the Q button is just your normal basic attack. I believe that's it in terms of the controls. So what about the limitations of this? Is this does this mean that emulator players are just gonna dunk on everyone and? just be the best players and there's no point in playing this game anymore? No. In fact, emulator players are super limited and there's a lot of things that are wrong with um, playing on emulator and just limitations in that regard. One of them, and the biggest one in my opinion, is um, just the poor performance. It crashes a lot. Um, I noticed even trying to record this video, launching the game, it took me about six or seven tries to get to the point where I was actually able to load into the game. I mean, once you're in the game, it's pretty smooth-ish, I guess. But, I mean, the issue is it crashes a bunch, right? So, definitely be aware of that. Um, and last but certainly not least, I think, is that you can't actually cancel your moves. So, you'll see here, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna click this X, but you can't cancel moves. So, like, once you've started using your move, you are committed to using that move. That move is going off whether you want it or not. Unless, of course, you're not in range of anything, in which case you're lucky. But, um, you know... If it's if it's a move that just like casts, you're gonna use it. There's no there's no canceling your skills as there is um, you know in normal like <laughs> with normal controls on a the Nintendo Switch or on a mobile phone. Like even if you drag it up here, well I guess like if you drag it up here with your mouse, it works. But like if I press one, then I can't really get to that part of the screen because what this is basically doing is this is emulating where my mouse is. Uh, from the MOBA like skill pad down here. So of course I'm clicking up here to cancel the skill But it's not gonna cancel. So unless you're like actually manually aiming your uh, Skills with the mouse like this like 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 clicking on electro ball and then pointing it around But you can see it's a little it's super wonky then I guess you can drag it up here and cancel so you I mean it's you know, it's it's playable, but it's not amazing. So, but this is about as good as it gets for emulation. Um, the game performs decently. It will crash a lot. I do not recommend playing like this in ranked mode. You will ruin people's games because more often than not, your game's gonna crash and then you're just gonna end up with, uh, with people really mad at you and you're gonna lose fair play points because you went AFK because your game crashed <laughs> and you're not able to relaunch. But that is how you do it. If you guys want the configuration file for these controls to try it out for yourself, that will be, of course, linked in the description for you guys to uh, download. And again, all you have to do is open Advanced Editor, import the file, and your controls, voila, will just be like this for you. So uh, one more word of warning, don't download BlueSex 5. It doesn't uh, really work with the control scheme thing. Um, this is really just for BlueStacks 4. I was not able to get it working for BlueStacks 5, so just a small word of warning there. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, um, let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'm curious to see how many of you are actually interested in trying emulator after seeing how, you know, in this video, I think we pretty much showcased that it doesn't really work super well in terms of like being competitively viable. But, I mean, it's decent for people to try out the game if they're wanting to, um, and they have a high-end PC, of course, stuff like that. So. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.